what can only really be described as Gintama. Mostly because that's its name. But still, the world is a shocking place. In the last few episodes, we've seen the, well, personifications of my sleep paralysis demons. Surprising how many of them crop up in Gintama. But if there's anything that you want to see now, it is probably more, because, well, that's why you're here. So I'm not going to delay it any further, because we might be seeing something new. Is Gintoki going to help out someone in need once again? The next TV presenter, by any chance, according to the preview. Let's watch it. Another lovely... Lovely day in the world of Gintama. <laughs> I didn't think that they'd have posters showing off uh, the uh, past little skits with Gin uh, Shinpachi. They probably sold it for extra money to play Pachinko. Why would anyone want to share? Did he really look that down and out, as though he needed such kindness? Oh, she's going through f some times. Watch your words, Gintoki. <laughs> you can only work off the information that you've been given. It's much like I remember the uh, a weather reporter... I think back in the 90s, possibly, I could be wrong. Well, I'm almost definitely wrong with that. There's absolutely no chance of a heavy wind or tornado. Slightly more incorrect than just, oh, it's going to be sunny. It is impressive, though, how we can analyse all of the different pressure systems and whatnot to say, ah, in about a week's time, it's going to be light coverage and about 18 degrees. Or oh, in a world kind of like Gintama and Japan, actually, I do think some people would hold the forecaster to quite high degrees of certainty. That's a nice preview scene. Got one wrong. Oh no. Ah, several wrong. <laughs> How was she telling the telling the uh, the what the weather would be? I've never been one to follow horoscopes or anything of the like, so I don't believe I'd take their word on the weather either. Yeah. 
there's also easier ways to turn it off than permanently. Is his foot okay? I agree with Shimpachi. Is this really something that you want to... <laughs> Sugoi doesn't it? Is this really something to uh, lie about? It's not really going to make her feel any better. What did you make? Sure. Nothing wrong with that, and I wonder if that's a case of somewhat product placement or something. <laughs> he changed his tune. Yeah, some things you don't want to be aged. Milk, for instance. Actually, that wouldn't be out of the realms of possibility with some of the quests that they've received. Where did this music come from? It's not really a intense, heartfelt scene. <laughs> just, just imagine they're there. It makes it better. He's trying his best. Bless him. <laughs> then what is she dwelling on? Hmm. It depends if that was the actual reason of how she was able to do it. You don't know that until you try. If I just be stuck in the same position. Danger. They're basically flatmates with danger. He just wants her back on the TV. So she doesn't need a weather forecasting job, just need, you know. <laughs> Will they regret trying to help her out? Not smarter, though. Do you have an appointment? <laughs> that is a face. Oh, they are one in the same. Now, if we weren't given the previews before, Or anything of the like. Do you really think any of us could have foreseen this kind of development? Can you back down now, Gintoki? He 
He sounds so confident. It might be tangentially connected to the weather, you don't know. And it was, in fact... Okay. Interesting. Yoji. I feel like I should have had some prior knowledge of what is going on here. Uh. <laughs> it is fascinating throughout history how different Ages and cultures handled things slightly out of their control. The paranormal, supernatural, maybe even, you know, weather. So you're now getting involved in in a plot to bring her down and you don't know who's behind it or how many they have with them. Is she really that dangerous of a presence that they'd have to need to be interfered with? Ah, crap. <laughs> what if she goes with what she uh, predicts for the weather and then just flips it when she's giving the the result? People like that in a world such as this will get trampled on. We've seen it so many times. Are you telling me, Shinpachi, that you came all of this way without asking any questions yet? It's one of those things like if you actually start thinking about how shows are filmed. In the half hour it took them to walk to this place or whatever, have they just been in silence? Is this how you greet guests? Now, they may be elements summoned by those on Miyoji's, but they could at least have a better dress sense. Are you telling me you had a plan in the first place, let alone a better one? Ah, I was about to say, hopefully that's not homemade by you, Gindoggy. Ding dong! Sorry, no one's home.
Maybe they're busy. Can, can, you, can you bear with me for a second? Yep. <laughs> One more for good luck. Maybe they're in the bath. Well, it's not exactly immediate help when they need it. It it does sound exactly like something a Gintama would do, though. Throw up just idiotic roadblocks on seemingly normal... Despite, you know, giant Oni and whatnot. <laughs> what are you doing ringing the intercom at this time of day we're eating dinner maybe all of the all the guys waiting around are going to feel sorry for them Actually, that would be potentially useful. Get an angry father involved. He doesn't know what Kentucky looks like. Huh? Oh. Are we supposed to be listening into this? That's why you shouldn't shouldn't play around with sharp instruments. How is how good is your medical knowledge? She doesn't seem that interested in helping the injured. We were too late. Might not have been for the worst, though. Maybe time just moves differently over in that world. Another troublesome acquaintance. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is peak Gintama. Very good. I'm not... I don't feel good about her mental state, though. For the future. Maybe it's best to just go home and wait this one out. It's a good way to defuse tensions. There's no longer really any will to um, to battle too much. Maybe this was all just part of the plan. Uh, 
And now that they're distracted... At the end of the day... Yep, at the end of the day, everyone has had parents at some point. She definitely fights fair. I like her. You know, other than the 15 minutes of play acting. So she should be over it by now. Did she have it pre-recorded or is she just very good at impersonations? <laughs> Don't take everything at face value. Mm hmm, and the others. What a beautiful boy. I think it's, I think it's, um, yeah, it would be good to release her from her contract. they go free in the world. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? And who's actually talking here? Are they going to step aside and it's going to be a stupid reveal again? If you're going to blame anyone, yep, yeah, leave it on Gintoki. How are you going to, uh... Not really a safe place. Although after all of the incidents Kentucky has been through, there might be some spare room down there. Some pretty strong introductions to a few characters so far. Same, eh? Okay. Somehow, I feel like that... Shikigami... What is her name? Get him out of fits in perfectly fine with basically everyone else. Not really an upstanding citizen. Ah, oh dear. If uh, if he doesn't have to go through those play antics every time that she need requires uh, summoning, it'd be quite a useful ally, even if she's not completely under control. But if she requires someone who shows almost unbound 
strength and determination. Yeah, Gintoki's a pretty good one. Hmm. Now, it was only really a matter of time before we had a summoning of Shikigami type things and a battle sequence and a massive fuck off club. Now, that little bit of act there to get everyone to drop their guards, while perfectly coordinated and quite successful, how did she know that it was needed like that at that time? Maybe he was just summoning her to see how it worked. Maybe if the little paper talisman thing had an intercom, it would also have security cameras and a feed to the outside world. But that character, along with her almost creepy dedication to Moida and almost complete unwillingness to actually work together. Yeah, I like her. I just hope that every time she's on screen, we don't have to go through a shitty Spanish soap drama first. But if you enjoyed this episode, please let me know, because, well, we're not finished here. I believe we're going to continue on with the storyline, so get yourself another drink. But first, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Or you could also join my Discord, the links are in the description. But if I start receiving thousands of messages with little paper mannequins, I know that I haven't particularly done very well. But for the time being, get some rest. Join me again for the next one. If my weather reporting was as well thought out and clearly planned as my channel, then we will be having six feet of snow in the depths of summer. So if you want to keep me in my current job and not have to fall back on TV presenting, then consider joining on to my Patreon, because so far Sal, Raywin, and Electric Ant, Denim 1997, Shiwan, Jennifer Rojas, Mecca, Stinsfire, Big Boy, Dark Shadow, 7899, Mats, and everyone else are the loyal viewers who actually don't care when I screw up royally. <laughs>